Hey everyone, today we will be making the Churn Dash Quilt Block, which is block number four of our nine pat sampler quilts along. For this quilt block, you are going to need two fabrics as your main fabric, and then a light or white fabric for your background. Now, if you do not have a lot of fabric to work with, you can make this quilt block just using one fabric for your main fabric and then one for your background. If you choose to just use two fabrics, I will leave the uh, cutting instructions for you down in the description box. So for this quilt block, you're going to make nine cuts. From your background fabric, you're going to cut two squares at five and a half inches and two squares at five and a quarter inches. And then from your main fabric, you're going to cut two squares, five and a half inches, two squares, five and a quarter inches, and then one square at four and a half inches. Now, we are going to be making half square triangles for this block. And you're going to repeat the same process that you have been doing to make half square triangles, just like we did in the previous block. So with your five and a half inch squares, one from your background and one from your main fabric, place them right sides together, draw a diagonal line on the back of the fabric. You're going to pin it into place, and when you take it to the sewing machine, you're gonna sew a quarter inch seam along each side of the diagonal line. Now with your five and a quarter inch squares, you're gonna place these pieces right sides together, and you're going to draw a line straight down the middle of your fabric. Once you've drawn that line, you just take your rotary cutter and you're going to cut it in half on the pencil line. And then just pin the pieces together like you see me do here. So once you have pinned and cut all of your pieces, you're going to take it to the sewing machine and everything is going to be sewn with a quarter inch seam allowance. So when you're finished sewing, you're going to cut any loose threads that you have and then you're going to cut your half square triangle in half on the pencil line that you drew. Then take it to your pressing surface and give it a press with a hot steamy iron making sure you press your seams open. When all of your seams are pressed, you are going to square up all of your blocks to measure four and a half inches. Now when you go to square up your quilt block that is half and half, you wanna make sure that your sewn line is facing, is vertical, going up and down or north and south. And with your ruler, you want to find the two and a quarter inch line, and you want to make sure that that line is running along your sewn line. And from there, you will make your cuts. So each half of that quilt block should be two and a quarter inches, which makes a four and a half inch block. So after your pieces are cut, you're going to lay it out in the diagram, just like I show you here. And then you're going to take the first two pieces on that top row, lay them right side together, pin into place, sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then you're going to repeat the process with the third piece from that row. And then do the exact same things for row two and three. Once your three rows are sewn, you're going to place these three rows together. At this point, it is important that you make sure that your Seams as well as your edges match up and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Once all your three rows are together, the quilt block is done. You just need to press it and making sure all your seams are pressed open and then square up your quilt block. At this point, it should measure 12 and a half inches. Don't forget to post your pictures on my Instagram at Carmen using the hashtag 9 Sample Quilt. So until next time, happy quilting.